Welcome into Bracket TV. We're breaking down the Midwest region. Carrie Chow alongside ESPN College Hoops experts, Eamon Brennan, John Gasway. Top two seeds in this bracket, Virginia and Michigan State. Eamon, give me your gut reaction to this region. I think it's a, it's a tough region. I mean, you look at a team like Iowa State, which entered the season as a top five team, is extremely veteran, um, is well coached, and, and has a specific style that they're going to play. Not to mention they're motivated by the fact that they lost in the first round to UAB last year. Um, that team on the four line with Virginia and Michigan State, two teams that could easily make the final four, could easily win a national title. Um, I think it's a very tough team, and then throw in Seton Hall and and everybody else. It's pretty brutal. John. Yeah, just to echo what Eben said, look at Seton Hall all the way down at the sixth line. This is a team that just won the Big East tournament. Uh, Whitehead is blowing up before our eyes. <laughs> he's becoming effective inside the arc, and once that happens, he's already a good defender. He's, he's a great athlete, and Kevin Willard has the Pirates going in the right direction. That's, a, that's your sixth seed in this loaded region. John, you're always good at finding Cinderella's. Give me an underdog to watch out for in this region. Look out for Arkansas Little Rock. They run what I call a slow turnover oriented press and that acronym would be STOP. You see what I did there? Uh, <laughs> Next level. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff, I'm telling you. Uh, Josh Hagens and Roger Woods are a couple of good scorers, but they also force turnovers and are tenacious defenders at the same time. And the Trojans are just a real tough matchup for teams not used to their style. Yeah, and they're ranked in the, the in the 12 seed, which is always danger for the five seed. So watch out, Boilermakers. Meanwhile, Eamon, give me a player to watch for in this region. So, couldn't decide. It's very Come difficult. on, man. <laughs> I know, this is, I know it's, honest. it's kind of weak, but I couldn't decide. So let's start with Virginia and the number one seed, and let's start with their star senior, Malcolm Brogdon, who is playing for a team that is the slowest in the country and averages about 61 possessions per game. Uh, he's averaging 18 points per game. That's hard to do, and he's doing it incredibly efficiently. Uh, he is a strong perimeter defender, but but his offensive game this year has gone to the next level without Justin Anderson, their lead scorer from last year. And this Virginia team is one of the two teams in the country uh, ranked in the top 10 in efficiency on defense and offense. And then Denzel Valentine, a National Player of the Year favorite. It'll come down to him or Buddy Heald. The first guy to average 19, seven and seven since the NCAA began tracking assists in 1984-85. That's bonkers. He's got the second highest assist rate in the country. He shoots 48% from three. He rebounds on the defensive end. He is an amazing basketball player. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of all I can say. Denzel having a better year than that year Denzel uh, Washington won Oscar for <laughs> training day? No, not quite. Mm. No, a little bit of a stretch. Denzel's had some pretty good years. Yeah. Washington, that is. Ignore that last statement then. Uh, <laughs> so then both of you guys agree that Michigan State will actually emerge out of this bracket. They are the two seed. Eamon, why the Sparty over Cavaliers? Well, I just think they are the kind of team that can beat Virginia. And I think this region is Virginia and Michigan State in the Elite Eight, and then at that point, it's just a matchup. And we saw it last year, a different Michigan State team. This team is better, right? And the style they play and what Denzel can do with the ball when he has it, I think, um, is going to be difficult for Virginia to stop in the conventional way they stop teams, which is that pack line defense that forces you to hit threes. Michigan State would be happy to shoot as many, as many threes as you'll give them. John, is Virginia the, the team to watch out for in, in case Michigan State doesn't make you there? The one seed? That makes sense. Absolutely. And it's so unfair. Uh, fate is unfair to the Cavaliers to throw Michigan State at them a third consecutive bracket. Uh, this is an outstanding Virginia team. And I, because I'm picking Michigan State over them, it's because the Spartans happen to be in the same bracket. But uh, nobody should sell the Cavaliers short, the, the kind of year that Brogdon has had. And the defense, which by the way, they were not playing the whole season. And right. if you haven't been tracking Virginia, you might think, oh yeah, yeah Tony Bennett, I've heard that. Uh, they came to this late this season and they came to it with zeal and fervor of a convert. They're playing fantastic defense now. I just think that uh, Michigan State is gonna get enough shots vis-a-vis -vis Virginia not getting quite as many to uh, get the job done in a great Elite Eight game. I applaud you for dropping vis-a-vis. -vis. Always like that. It's Trying to keep up with Eamon. Very intellectual. <laughs> All right, do you guys agree that Michigan, will, Michigan State will emerge out of this region? Be sure to play ESPN's tournament challenge on ESPN.com slash bracket. Fill out your bracket. Get a chance to maybe win a $10,000 Amazon gift card. For Eamon Brennan and John Gassaway, I'm Kerry Chow. We'll see you next time.